crooked and uneven roads during field work? Check this out. So to get GPS set up and be able to have more straight and more efficient rows, uh, we want to make sure that GPS is installed on the vehicle. This one at the moment it is not. As you can see above the gear shift there are no icons. So we'll take it up here to our shop here on Green Mountain. Beautiful map. And let's go ahead and customize. And then right here on pretty much any vehicle within the shop menu you will see a GPS option turn that on and then we'll go ahead and finalize that now if we come back and hop back into our vehicle oh it looks like we've unattached here let's go ahead and attach real fast i've got manual attached so i've got to attach my pto there we go okay now we're good to go and as you can see here in the above the the shifter icon there is now three new little icons that is our GPS or global uh, positioning sorry guidance steering uh, icons and uh, now we can take it to the field and let's get started okay so now that we're at our field we want to go ahead and set up our GPS uh, to follow the coordinates of the field uh, there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, the way I prefer to do it uh, is to set my A path and then set my B path. And it'll follow that line for the rest of the field. So to do that, first we need to turn GPS on, which is left alt C. See how that lights up? I'm going to hit uh, left alt C again. See, on, off, off, on. Okay, when they're lit up in blue, they're on. Okay, now if we... Hit Control S, left Control S, that'll pull up our GPS menu. Now there's a few things to note in here, uh, but uh, the most common thing is, well, this is to turn it on and off, which we can do with Alt X once we're in the vehicle. Uh, no reason to turn that on yet. Uh, snap to terrain angle, uh, we'll leave that on. Offset reversal. Now, if you're using a plow, that's where this would come in handy because it'll set the offset uh, when you turn around uh, and flip your plow. Headlamp mode. The cool thing about this is if you're using the cruise control, you can turn this on. To You can have it at stop. If you don't want it to stop, you leave it off. So, for example, at the end of the field, if you want the vehicle to automatically stop for you, make sure it's on. And then you can set the distance to the headland, which is the edge of the field. Uh, the nice thing about this is if you're not paying attention like me, working on something else while you're trying to <laughs> run the harvester, uh, it'll keep you from going through the trees or into the water on the other side. So that's pretty handy. Uh, show lines. I like my lines on. So you can hit that to turn it on. Line offset, that's how high the lines are off the ground. So the higher the number, the further up they are. So if you want them right there in your, uh, if you're a first person, you want them right there in front of you, um, you can raise that. If you want it on the ground, just have it lower. Uh, you could have it set as dots and or lines. Okay, so if we come back up here, uh, let's go ahead and set our track. Okay, see the line there? Alright, so we want to hit Alt-E twice. Alt-E, Alt-E. That's left Alt-E. So you hit it twice and see the A right there? That means we're good to go. Now, <clears throat> go ahead and turn on my... Oops. Let's turn the harvester off. Sorry. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Oh, my PTO got disconnected got a love manual attach it does that sometimes turn this thing on okay let's learn how to drive hang on there we go okay see my a right there let's go ahead and go forward a little bit it wants you to go about 15 meters so that should be good there so if we hit alt e again 
Oh, we gotta go a little bit further. Alt E. Now we're set. Now if you see, notice there's the white and blue lines there. That means that we're all set. However, notice that the blue lines are wider than the implement uh, or the harvester head, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we want that to be the same width. Otherwise, we're going to have a little bit on each side every time we run a row. So we'll go back into the menu, which is Control S. Okay. Now, if we go up here to the uh, the width of the implement, with the imp increment, we can hit Auto Width. Okay. Make sure that this is zero. There's no reason to have that set. We don't have an offset uh, implement at this time. So this would be for like plows and such. Okay, so auto width here. Good to go. If we go back, now if we look, the lines are matched up with our header. So we're good to go. Now I can turn on GPS, I, or I can enable it, which is Alt X. See the little steering wheel? Turns on. Alt X again, it turns it off. So we'll turn it on. Now, if we turn the wheels at all, it turns it off. So if we go to turn, it will disable the uh, guidance steering. So Alt X to set it, and then we can set our cruise. And then we can just ride. And it'll hold that straight line. As long as you don't touch your steering, it'll hold that straight line all the way to the end of the field. while we're waiting to get to the end of the field. There's a few other things you can do in here. Uh, if you come into this uh, advanced uh, settings here, you can change the line strategy, the line method. So if you A to B is what we just set up where you set the A and then you set the B. You can also set it to uh, A plus heading. So you can set the angle of your uh, track. So if you turn that on and then you just get close to the field and then you can set it to the angle of 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, what have you. Uh, another cool thing is if you want it to automatically make a 90 degree turn, you can hit this little button here and it'll do that for you. If you want to save the track for that field, you can do that as well. And if you want to save it on multiplayer for your farm, you can do that as well so you can give it a unique name. And then every time you come to the field, you just come in here, click, double click it, and it'll set you up on the track. So if your field's a certain direction or what have you, um, you get to go there. Now it looks like the heading mode did not work, so we're just going to keep going straight apparently. So let's check. Did we have that even turned on? Well, it's set to stop, so I'm not sure why that did not work as it should. So it should have stopped. Let's go ahead and flip the UE. Now, as you're turning around, you will notice that the lines jump over. So it's automatically resetting me for the next row. Now, if you want to skip a row, so let's say you want to go one more over this way because you don't want to turn so sharp for whatever reason, you can. So once you get over into this area, it snaps you to that. So Alt left alt x to set myself to that uh, row and then uh, turn my cruise control on and it'll run across the field um, <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and back up here now anytime you change uh, implements the width of them you want to re-update your uh, your implement width in the uh, menu uh, by hitting auto width so just hop in the vehicle and hit auto width and you're good to go so alt left alt x and then three and we're good to go and it'll rock and roll to the end of the field just beep that me because we're almost full <clears throat> uh, so i'll have to play with that headlamp mode part um <clears throat> Not sure why it's not working for me. Uh, one Another nice thing is it will kind of beep at you when you get close to the edge of the field. Uh, so you can listen for that. Um, what else is there? Control Left control S. We'll go back to the menu. Alright, so just to recap. Uh, enable guided steering. 
this you can turn it on and off via alt x uh, you can snap your train angle offset reversal is only for the plows and implements that go to one side headlamp mode will allow it to basically stop the vehicle if you've got cruise control set within the certain distance of the edge of the field uh, lines you can have those on or off line offset sets the height of the line from the ground so if I set that up it'll be higher up off the ground you can have your lines as dots or you can have them as solid lines uh, anytime you change your implement or vehicle you want to auto with it uh, to change let's say okay so let's do this so we want to change it to a different degree so we'll hit set a right now it's set at zero degrees so let's set it at 45 we hit that let's jump back out here notice that the lines at 45 degrees now now that is 45 degrees which would be uh, according to the map here so zero degrees is up and down 90 degrees would be this way and then 45 would be uh, at that angle uh let's see what else Oops, alt c to turn it on and off let's control left control s all right so we can create a track name uh let's set this back to zero so that should put our lines this way which matches up where we are at the moment um uh, now when you change the uh the headland or i'm sorry the the line mode uh the 90 degrees whatever that goes based off of where you're sitting at the moment uh control s go back to the menu uh so you can create your track name uh let's save it so we can edit you can change it to a different track name uh there create multiples edit delete delete them you can have it for the whole server or your single player um and i think that's pretty well everything that needs covered here so yeah just make sure that you do your auto whip for any new implements so that the uh, so that it tracks to not skip anything you want to be as efficient as possible see how there's no uh skipped rows um behind me on those three areas that i did so Okay. Well, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in the Discord. We are more than happy to help. Please like and subscribe. And if you guys really like these kind of tutorials that we have here, uh, let me know. We'll keep them coming. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the server.